So next graph you can get in your exams is effect of temperature on simple muscle curve or simple muscle twitch. So in that you are going to get three graphs like this. Okay, so here temperature is written over there. This, so this was the graph on normal temperature. This, this green one is at cold temperature and this one is at warm temperature. So what we do uh, to produce that effect, we pour a cold saline or warm saline on the nerve muscle preparation and then we obtain the graph. So we can see uh, this is the normal, this is the graph at normal temperature. When we poured warm saline on this, so we can see the height of the curve is increasing and duration of all the phases are decreasing like uh, latent phase, contraction phase, relaxation phase. So duration of all the phases have decreased and length of the curve or amplitude of the curve has increased. Or in other words, we can say the force of contraction has increased or the velocity of contraction has increased. In cold temperature, we can see the duration of all the phases have increased, but amplitude of the contraction has decreased. Or in other words, we can say force of the contraction has decreased or velocity of the contraction have decreased. So here we can write down that what has happened at warm at, on pouring warm saline, amplitude of the contraction has increased, latent phase, contraction phase and relaxation phase duration has been decreased. In cold, on pouring cold saline, amplitude has decreased, latent phase, contraction phase and relaxation phase have increased. Duration of these all three phases have been increased, it means the contraction have become slow. Now uh, another question your uh, examiner may ask that why this effect has occurred. So what happens on pouring warm saline? So whenever temperature increases around the muscle, so what happens? Temperature of the muscles have also increased. So because of that enzymatic activity will increase. So on increasing enzymatic activities all the process have been fastened. Okay, what else on increasing temperature, viscosity of the media like actin and myosin are contracting. So viscosity around them decreases. So this viscosity was creating a kind of resistance for them. So resistance have decreased. So because of that contraction of the actin and myosin have become faster. So because of increased temperature there is increasing enzymatic activity, there is decreased viscosity and because of that there is decreased resistance around the actin and myosin. So now the actin and myosin will contract more vigorously, okay, will contract more fast. So this has happened because of this and opposite will occur in pouring cold saline. There is more term heat rigor. So what happens in heat rigor? In heat rigor in place of pouring warm saline in case if we are pouring hot saline what happens? The muscle protein will get denatured, muscle protein will get destroyed, so muscle will lose its property of contraction. So we will not be able to study the property of muscles, properties of muscles because we have already poured the hot saline. So this condition is called as heat rigor. So similar to that, like uh, name is very much similar to that, so examiner may ask you that also, what is rigor mortis? Although rigor mortis has nothing to do with the rigor, uh, heat rigor, but examiner may ask you what is rigor mortis? Rigor mortis is a state of permanent contraction, okay, there is permanent contraction without relaxation. Why? Because for relaxation of the muscles, ATPs are required. So here we don't have ATPs after death. So few hours after death, like 15 to 20 hours, maybe 24 hours, that will depend upon many factors, that what happens? Muscles will go into permanent contraction, there will be no relaxation and muscles will become rigid. So this rigidity of the muscles uh, is called as rigor mortis. Now this rigidity is dissolved after some time. Why? Because of, probably because of release of lysosomal enzymes which will cause the autolysis. So this rigidity will be lost after few, after few hours and this is how the rigor mortis will be resolved. 
So th this is what is rigor mortis and this is the cause for dissolution of rigor mortis. So these are all questions your examiner may ask the causes what is the most important question identify the graph then why does this occur what is the cause for the raising of the graph and what is the cause for changing of the duration different phases and then he may ask you what is heat rigor he may ask you rigor mortis so this is all about the effect of temperature on simple muscle curve